Hi everybody. I got some birthday friend mail and some friend mail for Thanksgiving. And uh, Kitty keeps trying to jump up here because I've got some radishes I just pulled for the salad tonight. Uh, and she's been eating and I put her a little piece down there but she wants it right up here with the radishes. I'll show them to you here. They're nice ones too. Look at that. Good size. Those will go in the salad tonight. She likes to eat on the, the greens. <laughs> so, anyway, I, I got, like I said, some friend mail. And then I've got, uh, I've got the preview to the review. I forgot all about doing the preview to Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews that uh, he'll be doing tomorrow. So I'll show you that too. So here's the card. I got two cards from uh, Crystal from Crystal's Pets and Plants. Y'all check her channel out. She's been doing some live chats, I believe, on Sundays. Uh, as she's been doing uh, stuff about her, you know, pets and plants. That's basically a lot of it. And then, uh, but she has some really cool pets and stuff and insects that are really interesting. And she's got a container gardening in, on her back, I guess, porch or whatever it is. Anyway. So she sent me a card that says, Hope, and it says, God blesses you with a birthday to enjoy and remember a little bit of doing what you want, a few moments of good laughter, and at the end of the day, happy birthday, it says. So, it's nice. And then it says, happy birthday from Crystal's Pets and Plants, and it's got a... Uh, scripture it's psalm 103 2 and i think it says five yeah i think that's what it says five but it says five but it says nlt that must be a type of a uh, bible it says let all that i am praise the lord may i never forget the good things he does for me he fills my life with good things amen and I like those little stickers there. Little jars. What's that say in it? I can't tell what it says. Enjoy life. Good things, I think it says. I want them. And inside of that was a Walmart gift card. And we already been and used that for some things that, that uh, we needed really bad. And uh, I forget... Mm, I forget what all we got. We, well, it was over. It was over the amount we had got. Had to get some other things, but yeah, we. I really, really appreciate that, uh, Crystal. That was so nice of you. And then I got the, in the same day on the same. You know, when they delivered the mail, I got another one from Crystal for Thanksgiving. She she sends. She's good about sending cards. I sometimes I don't send some out, and sometimes I try. You know, but uh, anyway. This one says, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. That's Psalm 107.1. And it says, wishing you God's abundant blessings at Thanksgiving. Just want to take the time to wish you and your family a very happy Turkey Day. Thank you all so much for your friendship. Happy day, Mike, Joy, Logan, Kitty from Crystal's Pets and Plants. So check her channel out. She's got some neat stickers in here. I like and that is very nice thank you and then I've got this uh, I got a little while back I got this one but I wasn't able to get the games for a while because Kim from uh, Kim loves already check her channel out she's been doing a few more videos here lately um, and uh, she's been doing a lot of things about her crocheting and she's had some haul videos she's been in some tags uh, or at least one tag on there I know of. And I, that might have been last Christmas, come to think of it. But anyway, check her channel out. She's starting She's starting up more. She hasn't done a whole lot in a while, but she's been doing some more, so check her out. She's great with the crocheting. Um, and this says, On your birthday, God's plan is good, His power is great, and His best is yet to come. I like that. I like that scenery. 
And in the inside, it says, Mike, thinking of you on your special day and praying God blesses you in amazing new ways this year. Happy birthday, love, and God's blessings, Kim. And it has a, I, I love these scripture, all these scripture. This is Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, to give you a future with hope. Amen. Amen. That means a lot to me. That, that, that has special meaning for, for me. I appreciate that. Because uh, I've been, you know, I've been as sick as you can get. Uh, with 14 operations, and I almost passed away three times. So this, I like this very much. <clears throat> and... There was also a, there was a gift card in there for um, GameStop. Uh, I don't know if y'all may have one where you live that sells the games and stuff and you can buy used games and stuff. So I was able to get two used games. There's nothing, I don't mind a bit getting used games because the, the new ones are way too expensive for any, any kind of Xbox or PlayStation 4, which is what we got. But this is, both of these I, I will definitely like to, to play a lot. I may have already played one of them, but no, I think I, the one I had was older than these, if I still even have it. We'll trade them games, you know, and they give you a credit, and then you get some up new ones when you're tired of the other ones and stuff. So anyway, this is a Call of Duty World War II, and I like anything to do with World War II. Uh, games game wise so got that one and then I got this one didn't have a cover so they just put a cover on it uh, it's Call of Duty Infinite War I don't know if it's Infinite Warfare or War I thought it was Infinite Warfare Call of Duty it just says Infinite War I don't think there's any um, I don't think there's any yeah, it's Infinite Warfare. There's no instructions, but you can do plenty without instructions. I mean, you, you can catch on real quick. So there it is. It's in there. And that is great. I mean, I, I really appreciate that. I know uh, Joy likes playing those type games, too. And uh, Logan certainly does. But Logan's a big Mortal Kombat player. <laughs> he always has been. He loves that game. But, um, so that's, let's see, so that's it for that. Now I'll start showing you stuff on Logan's, uh, for Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. This one is, this came from uh, Dollar Tree, I believe. Pretty sure. Crispy's Oven Baked Rice Crisp Cheddar Cheese. Taste More is the brand. And, and um, if you eat half the bag, there's quite a bit in here. I don't think anybody would want to eat more than that. Total fat, five grams. That's nothing. Half a gram saturated. 330 milligrams of sodium. 19 grams of carbs. One gram of sugar. Two grams of protein. And that's about it. So that'll be a good one good for you and then we got this is planners drizzle I got another one that's a different it's the same it's a holiday edition and it, I got another one for for like next week this one is roasted cashews with milk chocolate how can you go wrong with that wow I have to take a picture with this one let's see if I can get the glare, the glare out of it a little bit there we go I was trying to do that to keep my eyes open, but you can't look at where you press the button and look to the left also where the lens is. I'm afraid I'll press something like go back or something I'd have to start all over. But these y'all look really good. It's got, if you ate 13 pieces, which is a good amount, it'd be a good handful, uh, 12 grams of fat, three grams of saturated, 120 milligrams sodium, 10, 10 grams of carbs, 1 gram of fiber, 4 grams of sugars, 
five grams of protein in 13 of them. Wow. That's a lot of protein for, uh, for 13 cashews or whatever. And it's got 10% of your iron. That's good. 4% of your potassium. Wow. That, those are a good one. And I've seen, uh, I saw our friend here, uh, Shelby, from, uh, she did a, she did a taste test or a review on these yesterday, I think it was, and, uh, and this is the English Toffee Peanut M&M's, so I love, I love toffee. And uh, if you eat the whole package, no, a third of the pack, it says. So there's quite a few in here. So that'd be, you know, that much of them. Probably, I don't know how many that'd be. 160 calories, 8 grams of total fat, 3 grams saturated, 15 milligrams of sodium, 19 car, uh, grams of carbs, 1 gram of fiber, 16 grams of sugar, total sugars it says, and three grams of protein. That's not bad. 2% of calcium, 4% of iron, and 2% of potassium. So for a candy, that's not bad. Then, try this one. We've got a little, it's not smashed, the bag just lost in its air or something. Try this. Ruffles. This is a new one. Lime and jalapeno. So I'm interested to taste that and see how these are. Lime and jalapeno. Got that one at uh, at the checkout at uh, Walmart. I got stuff up there. If you eat 14 chips, you would have 150 calories, nine grams of total fat, one and a half saturated. 200 milligrams of sodium, not real bad. Uh, 15 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, one gram of sugar, two grams of protein, and 2% of potassium, no, iron, and 6% of potassium, 6% of vitamin C. Wow. Then, I'm gonna try these. These are, I'm, I'm interested myself. This is a uh, Sour Patch Kids Crush Fruit Mix. This one came from Dollar Tree. It's new. And if you eat 12 of them, I wouldn't eat that many myself. Too many. Too much sugar for me. Uh, 25 milligrams of sodium, 27 grams of carbs, 23 total sugar, and that is, there's nothing else. So they're not not really good for you, not really bad for you either. <laughs> one of those things. So that's an interesting one. And then on the, as far as the meals, like microwave meals, you can microwave this or eat it either way. You eat it as it is. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Oh, don't say right there. It must be on the inside. It says ready to eat. I guess if you want to warm it up, you can. But this one is the basil pesto. It's earthly grains, quinoa meal. And this came from uh, Aldi. Yeah. And uh, in, the, in the whole package, and there's quite a bit in there, and the stuff in the top, you can see the stuff here, the basil stuff. Pesto. Uh, 450 calories. It seems like... I don't know. I guess if you made it for like most of your meal, that wouldn't be that bad. Total fat, 33 grams. So that's, that seems high a little bit. 43%. wonder where all that comes from with just quinoa. Saturated fat, 5 grams. Sodium, 710 milligrams. That's 31%. 27 grams of carbs. 5 grams of fiber. No sugar. 10 grams of protein. That's good. Calcium 15%. Iron 15%. And potassium 6%. So that'll be interesting. The other one was delicious. 
And then I think the rest of this, the rest of it came from uh, Jen. She sent me uh, some birthday stuff and she included some stuff to, for us to try out. So Jen is a, a, from At Home with Jen. Definitely check her channel out. She's uh, she's had a garden. Um, I don't think she has a whole lot going on right now with it. Uh, I don't. I'm not for sure if she's gonna plant much, or you know, from fall or not. But uh, she's had a great garden. She, you can see still see her videos if you want to see her the garden videos. And um, she does she does uh, hauls, uh, drive with me, walkthroughs like and um she she makes uh, she does some cooking videos too and she makes some crazy sandwiches that are, look really good that you never think of <laughs> they're good though i'm sure uh so check her out at home with jen and uh this is one of the ones i think we tried something like this uh that we got down at grocery outlet one time it was like a variety pack but i'm not sure if they had this flavor in there it's tote Totis, Danitas, Limon, and salt, I guess, or Limon, and salt, lime and salt flavor, wheat snack, it says. And if you, if you eat this whole package, and there's a lot in here, <laughs> you would have total, gra uh, 15 grams of total fat, 7 grams saturated, 75 milligrams of sodium that's nothing for a chip type product uh, 28 grams of carbs one gram of fiber two grams of sugar three grams of protein and vitamin d six percent calcium four percent so they're pretty good for you actually Maybe one of them and in this one i'm imagining this is like a let me see kind of like a uh, ramen noodles they're a Mexican one I guess it's like um, it says no it's I don't guess it's Mexican it's got Chinese writing on it or Japanese it says Thailand down at the bottom so I guess it came from Thailand or made in Thailand that's cool and this is uh, mama so, uh, but it's something I can't read what that says besides that and it's oriental style instant noodles shrimp flavor oh goodness that's interesting looking yeah so that'll be another like meal type thing that we'll fix kitty is just stretched out you like laying out stretched out in the floor kitty Hey, she won't even hardly look. <laughs> okay, I didn't read the thing. And, of course, one package. There's only 12 grams total fat, 6 grams saturated. Most noodles like this, ramen noodles, have that, that amount of saturated fat. Got a, a little bit bunch of sodium, 1,630 milligrams, but you wouldn't eat one of these every day, you know or ramen noodles every day. I hope I hope I wouldn't. I've had to uh, when we were really bad off in past years, but not, not, not in a long time. Uh, so there's 38 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, total sugar three grams, protein five grams, that's not too bad, and two percent of your potassium. Then it's gonna be a good show. Then she sent us this coconut banderitas, coconut candy, coconut candy bar. It's got the Mexican flags colors. And let's see something. It has, if you ate a third of a piece, I guess it's a, in thirds here, like because you can tell because of the colors. 178 calories, total fat 8 grams, saturated fat 6 grams, trans fat 0, 0, 28 milligrams of sodium, 26 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber, total sugar 22 grams, protein less than 1 gram, 
and 3% of your iron and 2% of potassium. So that's interesting. Then we got two more. This is De La Rosa Original Pulperindo with real fruit. You can tell it's soft. There. And I guess it could be like a fruit roll-up type thing. I don't know yet. Uh, there's the ingredients, but I don't think there's any. Let's see if there's any. There's no... Uh, these may have come out of a bigger box or something that had the nutrition facts on it. But it doesn't have it on here. So. But if it's some kind of fruit, it's probably not not bad for you anyway and here's a de la rosa mazapan original and i'm trying to think if we did something like this it's been a long time ago now when someone sent us some mexican snacks julie stephanie i think her name uh, is that sent us to us the other time and uh she sent us some things a couple times i think uh, actually and uh, this is a mazapan original I don't know what it doesn't say flavor it's like a cake I, and I don't think it has if it has any on it it's in the all the writing is underneath all folded up so you'd have to open it up to see if it did have anything so that's everything that uh, Logan will be trying tomorrow evening and the nutrition facts you know that I could and um, I think it's going to be a really good show, y'all. We've got some interesting things here. So join us tomorrow for that. And everybody, please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I forgot to try to do my... Where I'm watching the lens for my, for my eyes to be straight. I forgot to do it most of this video. It's a, that's a hard thing to do. I'll try it again watch. Okay, everybody, I appreciate you watching so much, and we'll see you later on with a Dollar Tree haul. Bye, everyone. See you later. God bless.